Okay, so I noticed that my stock diverter valves had a lot of oil residue buildup all around here. I've since cleaned it all off, but figured this is probably a common issue. And if you have a leaky diverter valve, it can cause boost issues, oil buildup on your stock pipes and engine components, and it just doesn't look good. But I didn't understand how to take the diverter valves out. I'd actually look it up. But once I looked it up, I found it was quite simple. You see these arrows right here? Right here, wherever it is. See. Arrow there, lines up with the gray tab. That means it's locked in place. So to unlock the diverter valves, we're gonna spin this like so. So now the arrows don't line up. Same with this one. Spin it. And once those are both spun, you'll be able to pull straight up on your diverter valves. Rock them out a little bit. Slide right out. Now you're gonna wanna clean up this area. Clean up, make sure there's no oil on them, no buildup, no residue. You're also going to want to clean out this area right here, clean out in here, and you actually have an o-ring in here. Pop the o-ring out, make sure these are cleaned up, no dirt residue build up on those. And as long as they still feel pliable, you should be able to fix your oil leak just by doing a cleaning or a service on it. As long as it's still tight fit on your diverter valve. Pop it right back in. Make sure everything's nice and clean. see these two tabs these actually lock into the diverter valve so you can pop them back in they're only really going to want to push in one way once you get it almost almost there then it'll pop down clip into place make sure you spin lock back in lock it back into place it's locked back in same with this one. You're going to want to make sure you don't roll your o-ring in there too. Make sure it slides in nicely. Give it a little twist. Get it in the right spot. Click. Click right in. Lock it. You're good to go. And if that doesn't fix the oil leak or boost leak issue you're experiencing, then you're going to have to replace your seals. And that should do it. Thanks for watching guys, take care.